Hey there, it's Liz from No Trace. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a super cute, simple snack bag on your serger. This is a really great beginner-friendly serger project, so let's go. You can really make your snack bag in any size that you want, but a size that I find really uh, versatile is five and a half inches wide and 10 inches long. And I have two pieces of fabric that are cut to that size, five and a half by 10, and one is gonna be my outer layer and one is gonna be my inner layer of fabric. You'll also need some pins and then some way to measure your bag when we go to fold it. So either a cutting mat or a ruler or measuring tape will work great. In the first step, we're gonna line up our two pieces of fabric with each other with the wrong sides facing. This is a solid, so there isn't a right or a wrong, but you want the wrong sides facing each other. And we're gonna do a straight stitch on our serger on this short bottom edge and the short top edge. So with the fabric lined up, with the two sides lined up nicely, we're just gonna stitch straight down this edge. So what I like to do is just get a little bit under my presser foot and then just start going. We'll go ahead and cut the piece off the machine and it should look like that. Now we'll go ahead and repeat that on the other side. So again, this, the short side just goes right under this foot and just straight down. Once you've stitched together the top edge and the bottom edge, we're ready to fold up our bag. So what you wanna do is place it with the outer layer down on your rotary mat or however you're gonna do your measurements. And then the bottom flap is gonna come up about three inches. So just find three inches and fold it up like that. And then there, the top flap is gonna come down and the top flap is gonna be about two and a quarter inches. So you'll wanna fold that down. So there should be about an inch or so gap, inch and a half and you wanna fold that down. It's about two and a quarter inches. And then the final height of the bag is about four and a quarter or four and a half inches tall. Okay, so this is about three inches. This flap is about two and a quarter inches and they should overlap about an inch. And your final bag is about two and a quarter inches. Now you'll wanna take one of your pins and just pin it in the stitches to hold it together so that we can sew it up in the next step. So what we're gonna do is just stitch straight down this edge. Now I have a whole video on how to, on the different ways to um, finish your last line of stitches on a serger. So I'm gonna link to that right here. Um, but what's easiest when you're learning your, how to use your serger is just to go straight down and be left with a long thread tail up here and a long thread tail down here. So that's what we'll do on this side. We'll just go straight down. And then we'll trim off that tail. And then I'll show you how to finish that those tails in the next step. And now we need to finish off the other side of our sandwich bag on the serger. And I'm gonna add a little no trace tag because I like to mark my things. And I'm gonna show you a different way to finish this, the um, thread tails with this side of the bag. So what we're gonna do, and again, I go over this in another video with a, in a lot more detail, is 
um, get that tag under the presser foot and go forward a little bit. And once you have a couple of stitches on your project, lift those needles and lift that presser foot and then tug on the tail gently and swing it around so it's gonna go back under your knife. And then lower the presser foot and just keep going straight down. And when we get to the end, we want our needles to go just to the edge of the fabric, into the up position, lift the presser foot, and then we pull our whole piece off the machine and flip it so that it's now face down and get it back under your needles. And I like to gently tug on the threads up top, which you can't quite see, but just give them a tug so you can get rid of any um, looseness in the threads and then lower the presser foot. Make sure not to cut your threads. Lower that presser foot and just get a few more stitches. I probably did like 10 stitches there and now I'm pulling my project off, getting those needles away from the project and then just make another tail. And this one you can just trim real close to the bag and it is finished. So that's another way to finish your seams. But let's deal, let me show you how to do, deal with these two. In order to get these um, seams finished, what you need is an, an embroidery needle or a tapestry needle, a needle that has a really large opening. And what we're going to do is thread the tails back through the needle, back into the seam. So what I do is just fold that tail over and get sort of a little pinch and then get that into the head. It can be a little tricky, but just be patient and get the whole tail into your needle, just like that. And then you are going to thread the tail back into the seam wherever you can get that needle. And I generally just push the needle as far along as I can and then back out, give it a tug. And make sure you have the thread all the way through. So now the thread is trapped in that row of stitches and all you gotta do is trim it. Just like that. And then go ahead and repeat that for the other thread tail. So go ahead and take that pin out and make sure that you caught all your fabric in your inner seams and then your little bag is all done. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you get out there and make yourself a bunch of little snack bags. And if you do, I'd love to see it. So go ahead and join my Facebook group for Zero Waste Sewing and Crafting. The link is down below in the description box. So just click on that description box head over there and you can share pictures of your projects. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to the No Trace channel to get notified about all of our videos. We put out a new video on zero waste sewing, crafting, and living every week. So I'll see you again very soon. If you just want to purchase a snack bag like this one, I'm also putting the link for that below in the description box so you can shop um, from No Trace anytime from the comfort of your home and get yourself some cute snack bags.